The coronavirus outbreak has affected everybody, from Fortune 500 companies to preschoolers, but that won't stop student groups in the metro area. Tyler Henning, Center of Students for Trump, says they've definitely had to adjust their outreach methods because of the coronavirus regulation. One of the things we did to adapt, we started hosting webinars, we started um, doing a lot of things virtually, as a lot of major campaigns did, I believe the Trump campaign did as well, switched in a record time over to all digital events so we could still keep folks engaged from their homes um, while keeping everyone safe, uh, but, but still getting that message out. Matt Anderson, president of the College Republicans, says the regulations initially hit the group pretty hard, but they're slowly adjusting. When it happened in March, we kind of basically just went off the face of the earth at a certain extent. Stopped recruiting for a bit, couldn't really table, we we're, we're, didn't really know. Uh, our big event with Bacon got canceled, which was going to be our biggest recruiting event of the year. Um, we usually recruit by doing big events. Anderson says that while recruiting in person has always been a little difficult, the distancing regulations and changes in safety standards regarding arrangement of tabling stations have pushed the group to focus more on social media. On campus recruiting, it's always difficult, but it's even more difficult uh, when you add in COVID but they are adjusting to their new socially distanced and safe outreach methods. We're trying to make up for that lost time of being on campus with students since uh, they had to go home early. So just hitting the pavement hard and registering voters, hopefully a million new voters by uh, November 3rd uh, for the president. For the Omaha News, I'm Jared Barton.